Hi, my name's Rowan and this is my channel, The Yorkshire Sew Girl. I hope everybody's really well. I'm okay. Today I am talking all things denim jackets. I know you're probably going to be like, well, that's a bit random. <laughs> but I have recently made my very first denim jacket and I'm right sure for my little self. And I did a lot of research as to kind of which pattern I wanted to make with my fabric uh, as my first denim jacket. And um, I was influenced very heavily by Fabric Godmother on a newsletter that I received. And I saw the fabric and I saw the pattern and I was like, that's the one. But then, tell me if I'm the only one. <clears throat> I'm not good when there's a lot of choice. So if I go, I don't know, to a restaurant and there's a huge menu, I struggle. I'm better when there's less choice. Um, so then what I have to do is I have to go and then research denim jackets just to make sure that I've not picked the wrong one and then I get myself in a tussle and then sometimes I procrastinate and then sometimes I don't actually pick a pattern. But I did this time, I have made it and I will talk that through with you guys when I next do my makes video but I'm super super chuffed with it. I did give a sneak peek in one of my previous videos as well so if you've seen that you'll know what I'm talking about. But what I thought I would do is share the research of the denim jackets that I did, because if I'm going to be that crazy person that has to do all of that research in order to feel comfortable with the decision that I've made, I might as well share the hard work with you guys. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I was looking for kind of a pattern that was a little bit different. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, and I've kind of found quite a few that are a little bit different. They've all got their own little features that make them have variations to each other. So I've got seven all together and one of those is a free pattern as well. So I've got notes. Ta-da! Oh, look at my dodgy drawing. <laughs> I've got my notes. So I will be looking down at them as I go through, but shall we crack on with number one? Okay, so the first one is the Rasafa jacket. I hope I'm saying that right, by Pauline Ellis. And I was very drawn to this because of the features that are in this jacket. I will read out to you what it says on their website. It's a vintage inspired jacket with relaxed fit and cropped length. Pleats at the front and back, front patch pocket and big side pockets, lapel collar and front button closure, cinch back, long sleeves with buttoned cuffs. I also think it's part lined from what I could see. It only needs 0.35 metres of lining. Um, so I think it might just be, you know, the bottom half of the coat. So I will be popping pictures up and line drawings so that you can have a look at it. But you'll see that there is one of like the kind of traditional like yoke almost on a denim jacket. And I think from some of the pictures that you can see, the inside bottom part is actually lined, which I thought was super cute, particularly when you've got pockets, because it says that there are big big side pockets it looks like you can put your hand in from the side and down it's kind of got like slanted pockets what I did like about this though is the like pleats down the front I thought that looked really different and really quite unique and it's also got like you know the little belt buckle thing at the back so you can cinch in the back so if you don't want it to be like big and oversized and you want it to be more fitted you can do that and then cinch it in with the little toggle that's at the back of it as well it um, recommends medium weight fabrics such as denim, cotton canvas or twill or corduroy. It is PDF only, this one. It is layered, so if you only want to print out your size or if you're only grading between a couple of sizes between your bust, waist and hips, you can just print those off as well, which is awesome. It comes in sizes um, extra small to XXL, which is a bust of 32.5 to 46 inches, a waist of 25.5 to 39 inches, and a hips of 35 to 48 inches. So not the most size inclusive, that one, unfortunately. But yeah, I loved, um, I just loved the, the slanted part here and then the pleats down the front. I thought that was really kind of unique and I think people would look at that and go oh I like your jacket that's a little bit different it's not what you kind of see normally in ready to wear so that was number one number two was for very similar reasons actually and that's the Maison Fauve Pillar jacket I've seen quite a lot of these over on Instagram and that is because the lovely Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door has done kits for this jacket in the past um, and I think she might have done a um, sew along to it as well, if I'm right. I'm not sure. If she has, I will pop a link in the description box below. I will put all of the details of everything that I'm yabbering on to you about in the description box below. So if you are keen on any of these patterns, 
you'll be able to go and do that. You'll be able to go see what there is to see about it all. So the pillar jacket is the jacket we have been dreaming of at Maison Fauve. A lovely straight cut, not too wide, nor too short with a top stitched finish. However, we are relentless. I love that. And we couldn't give you this beautiful pattern without our signature details. Stitched darts on the front of the jacket and the possibility of sewing a beautiful back with an inver inverted pleat to switch up an iconic denim piece. So you'll see from here that it's actually got pleats down the front and then it's got pleats that kind of go out. I always think they look a bit like a sunburst. Is that just me? So the little pleats in the denim come out all the way from the neckline, which I thought was beautiful. And then it's got two pleats kind of going down the front before you yoke. And then you've got your little pockets with just the little flap. <laughs> with the little flap on the front. But what's lovely about this is you can just do it with a plain black back if you want. But there's also one with an inverted pleat. So you'll see from the line drawings that it's got a pleat that goes along the back of the jacket piece. And I think it just, not only have you got quite a bit going on on the front of it, but then going on on the back of it as well. And I just think it's little bits of added detail. And that's what I love about Maison Fave actually. Majority of their patterns have got different elements to them that you would see that aren't necessarily the norm. Um, so yeah, if you just wanted all the detail on the front, you could do and leave the back plain or you could go the other way and just go all out. I think this would look really good in a plain fabric because a pattern fabric, you might lose a lot of those details. Um, and I have seen it made up in some beautiful ones. I think my favourite one that I saw was like a white denim and it looked stunning. So again, choice of fabric, a denim fabric goes without saying, but also a mid-weight woolen fabric. I think there is a picture actually of one that's in like a wool. If I can find that one, I will put it on there, unless I'm mistaken. A beautiful jacquard, a gabardine, etc. This comes in PDF and printed, which is really good. Um, and there is also a YouTube tutorial for this one as well. Now, it is in French, but I have made a Maison Fauve pattern before and used the tutorial. And because it's a visual thing, it doesn't really matter. You can put your captions on in English as well, so it will translate but sometimes there's the odd dodgy word. But if you're looking at a tutorial anyway online, you're kind of seeing it visually, aren't you? So sometimes you don't really need that anyway. It comes in sizes 6 to 22, which is a bust of 31.5 to 47.5, a waist of 23.5 to 41, and a hips of 34.5 to 51. But I think that's a really nice elevated look, if you know what I mean. Okay. Number three is a fibre mood pattern and I love this pattern. It's absolutely gorgeous and it's called the Marcia. Um, it says on the website, it's a versatile pattern that can serve as a body warmer, a first rate winter coat or a lightweight jacket to complete your outfit. The best feature, sleeves that zip on and off depending on your mood. Hello. Marcia looks amazing with or without the standing collar. Fancy some extra details, then add slash pockets for extra flair. But if you want to keep it simple, just skip them. The sleeves and hemband are finished with elastic. Twinning is winning. Sew a Mickey for the child in your life and wear Marcia yourself for a mega match. Practical, timeless and versatile. So you can do a little kiddie version with this one as well. I love it so much. So what I like about this one is the detachable sleeves. I mean, that is pretty cool. And it does say... <clears throat> excuse me, that you could use it in denim. So it says, when it comes to fabrics for Marcy, you have a wide range of fabrics to choose from, including padded fabrics, which is what you'll see in some of the images, woolens, teddy, faux leather, jacquard and denim. And I think this could look amazing. Even if you didn't make it in denim, sometimes you can get like a denim look padded fabric. So it's got the layer of wadding in between, but it looks like denim. Um, and it tends to be like a, a cotton um, in the same colour as denim. And I think that would look absolutely gorgeous for kind of going in and out of seasons as well. It's PDF only, that one. And it comes in sizes XS to XXXL, which is a bust of 30 to 57 and a half. So it is size inclusive, this one, which is good. It only gives you the bust measurements because what it's saying is you've got a lovely stand collar here. The one in the picture, they've got um, studs up and down and then it's elasticated around the bottom as well. So it would be versatile as you're kind of going in between seasons because you could have it with your thick um, sleeves on for when it's getting cold and then you can just zip 
zip, wang them off <laughs> if you start to get a bit too hot. I actually like the thought of this with like a, a tight long sleeve top underneath and then taking the sleeves off. I think it would look really nice. I wouldn't want to do it in too stiff a denim because I think it needs kind of a bit of a soft look, if you know what I'm saying. Now, I know some people as well think I'm weird when I talk about buttonholes because I actually really enjoy making buttonholes. And on my denim jacket, I did do machine buttonholes. But I know a lot of you guys have kind of said, oh no, it's awful. It's like the last stage, <laughs> the last stage of a project and it's something that can go wrong. And particularly when you're working with denim or that kind of fabric and you're making a jacket, you've gone to all this hard work and then suddenly you're in a situation where your machine starts to mess up, you get all hot and sweaty and you're like, what is going on here? So I thought while I was at it, I would talk to you about Skillshare because they're very kindly sponsoring this video. Now, if you don't know about Skillshare, they are the largest online learning community for creatives. So they offer thousands of creative classes across countless categories, ranging all the way from beginner to advanced. Um, their classes are taught by industry experts excited to share their tools, techniques and professional journeys with their members. It's actually an on-demand platform as well. So the stackable lessons so members can learn at their own pace, no matter what the skill level. So if you want to learn something new or develop your skills in many subjects, you can. So from drawing, filmmaking, dressmaking to marketing, productivity and more, there is literally something for everyone. And I thought I would mention this because as I was going through and having a look at what my next thing is that I wanted to have a look at, when I was making my denim jacket, I saw a class on Taylor's buttonhole, buttonholes. And I thought, well, that's interesting because I've seen some people say before that they prefer to hand stitch a buttonhole, particularly on coats and jackets. And I was a bit intrigued by it. So when I saw that, that is um, being run by a lady called Lisa Karlhofer. So she's a tailor in Germany, actually, and she shows you then how to hand stitch a tailor's buttonhole. So the gods would be hopefully in your favour <laughs> because you would be in control of your buttonholes. And I thought, oh, I will talk to you guys about that because that might come in handy if you have been having machine buttonholes stopping you from making a jacket, a coat, a denim jacket, that type of thing. I thought that might be of interest. So it's only a 30 minute um, course. And I don't think any of the individual sections are more than seven minutes at a time. But what Lisa does then is she talks you through how to actually hand stitch your buttonholes. And if you're doing that right at the very end, I thought that might be quite a bit of a nice therapeutic thing to do. I'm not saying I'd be sat in front of the TV doing it. <laughs> that might not be what we need to do because we want to be able to concentrate. But I thought that might be quite interesting because it might give people a bit more confidence in doing buttonholes right at the very end of a project on Tricky Fabric. So, yeah, if you are interested, I will pop all of the information in the description box below. So the first 500 people to click the link in the description box will get one month's free trial of Skillshare. So head on over and take a look if you're interested. Right, so I've got some more to go on with. Let's choose the next one. The next one is actually my favourite one and it was second runner for me and it's the Closet Core Sienna Maker Jacket. I think this one goes under the radar a bit and I don't know why. Closet Core patterns are amazing. I absolutely love them. Their instructions, their aesthetic, everything about them I absolutely love. And when I saw the pattern cover of this, I was like, yeah, it's OK. It's all right. And then my lovely friend Lucy, who's Geek Petite on um, YouTube, she actually made the jacket up. And the reason she made it up is she went into a shop and she saw somebody else wearing it. And she asked them and they said what jacket it was. So she's made it up. And every time I see it, I'm like crushing on it. <laughs> so I think... I am definitely going to make this one. It is going to be next on my list when I make a jacket. I'll tell you all about it now. So the Sienna is a chic utility jacket inspired by vintage French workwear designed for hard wearing use by makers and artists. It functions as both stylish outerwear and a highly practical layer for use inside the studio. With a slightly dropped sol shoulder, solder, uh, Sienna features a crisp notched collar which can be worn buttoned at the neck with an optional snap button. It's unlined and finished with durable seams. If 
Use A and B feature deep hip pockets, a hidden breast pocket and a waist cinching belt with a D-ring closure that can be worn closed or open by looping the belt in the opposite direction. View A hits a mid thigh and view B ends at the upper thigh. View C is a short chore jacket with button closure, optional sleeve pockets and a back button placket. Woo, that was a bit, wasn't it? But look what you're getting for your money with this pattern. So it's kind of three completely different jackets to me. Anyway, it looks it. Some of them look a lot more casual. <clears throat> Some of them look a lot more workwear. I think in different fabrics, it looks different. Again, I'll put all the images up so you can have a look. There's one of them in like a cream, almost linen, which is a more casual. It looks really smart, I think. And then you've got ones that are a bit more utility in like the green khaki. That was the one that really caught my eye. Um, so it does say durable woven fabrics like denim, twill, canvas and heavyweight linen. So, yeah, I thought the long option was really interesting. So you've got your big, massive pockets, <laughs> which are awesome. And then you've got like this belt that goes all the way from one side right round to the other. And then I'm assuming I think it's a D ring that you use to then tighten it up. It's got the beautiful lapels. I just think it's really smart looking. Um, I know it's kind of talking about it being like utility jacket and a workwear jacket, but I just think that looks so chic. I think it looks beautiful. But the option that I really like is actually the more cropped jacket. It's got two pockets in the um, at the bottom of it and a small one at the top. And it's got these like sleeves that are a, a different pattern piece. And then you have a little button here. It almost looks like they can detach. I don't think they can, but it looks like they can. And I just think that is something that I've never seen before. And I really like the look of a utility jacket anyway. And then down the back of it, it's got like um, a um, like almost a what would you call it? Like a pleat. Um, what do you call it when it opens at the back? You'll be telling me, you'll be shouting at me now because I can't think what it is. But a little opening at the back. And then it's got buttons that go down that as well. I love the little details of the buttons all over. And I think, I can't stop thinking about it. So I do want to make one. And I think I want to make one in the khaki and almost replicate what's on the images on the internet. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think the front cover really does enough for this pattern. And I wanted to shout about it because it just looks awesome to me. It is PDF only online, but I have, I'm sure I've seen it in print somewhere as well. Um, it sizes 0 to 20 in a B cup and 14 to 32 in a D cup, which is really good. So there's two, two cup sizes. Um, a bust of 31 to 60, waist of 24 to 53 and a hips of 33 to 63. So it's really good from a size inclusivity point of view as well. But I don't know if you can tell, this is definitely one of my absolute favourites. And I think you'll be seeing something like this quite soon, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> OK, something else that I thought was interesting and I'd seen this on um, a Fabric Godmother um, Dream Wardrobe box quite some time ago. And that's the Bagita Helmerson Zero Waste Bell Jacket. I hope I've said that right. Bagita? Bagita Helmerson, I think. So this is an oversized jacket with a rounded collar, front button closure, three front patch pockets, an inverted box pleat at the centre back neck and wide sleeves that are perfect for fitting all your winter layers underneath. The bell jacket gets its name from the bell shaped sleeve created with several darts sewn into the hem of the sleeve. The jacket is fully lined. So there's two size options for the jacket with slight design variations between each. The size two has got two panels at the centre back body and has more of a drop shoulder than the size one. Um, it says here, this is the first pattern we have made, which has links embedded into the PDF instruction booklet, taking you to online tutorials with colour images to help with most of the more involved sewing instructions. It also comes with two hack options, a shirt with a square collar and a quilted version unlined. And both of these have got online tutorials for the extra steps, which I think is awesome. I've always been interested in zero waste patterns but I've never taken the plunge and when I saw this on the dream wardrobe I was like I oh, fancy a bit of that I think the other reason for it is I love the fabric so much <laughs> it's it was gorgeous it was um again I'll see if I can find a picture I might not be able to though it was like um a checkered woolen type fabric and I loved it so much and I was so gutted that I'd not got that dream wardrobe box and then 
And one magical day, I went into Boys with my lovely Northern Soul sisters and they had it in Boys and I bought it. And it's currently under my bed because <laughs> it's too thick to go in here. So that's under my bed. And I'm thinking I definitely need to make some sort of jacket with that this autumn season. So I think it'd be really fascinating. I might just have to copy it blatantly from the fabric um, godmother dream wardrobe and just make the same one. But I did love it. So it says the PDF sewing pattern uses zero waste pattern cutting and comprises of instructions to draw shapes directly onto your fabric. With the exception of some templates, there are no large pattern pieces to print out. The cutting plan and templates document for the bell jacket requires printing of only 11 pages in A4 or US letter paper. So that's all you have to do um, for that. Um, it is an oversized shape with two size ranges. So the maximum bust slash hip for each size depends on the fabric width you use. So obviously with it being a zero waste pattern, there are no size ranges in this, but it has to depend on the width of the fabric that you're using. So it does say that it's suitable for up to a 60 inch hip, which is great. Um, it says there's also tips in the instruction booklet for making adjustments to the pattern to size up further as well. So there's a lot of scope with this jacket. But what I love about this jacket is the sleeves, obviously. It's just gorgeous. And that's why it's called the bell jacket. So it's almost like a big bell flower. And it's got little pleats all the way around the cuffs to cinch it in. And you don't want any of that wind and cold getting up there, do you? So it does cinch it in. And then it's got two pockets on the front and then a little one as well up at the top. And then it's got this really cute like almost like a Peter Pan collar, I would call it. And then you've also got your inverted pleat in the back. So some lovely details in this as well. And it'd be really interesting to see what you could do with the fabric that you've got potentially in your stash if it's a zero waste one as well. Not many pages to print out and you just crack on. So I think it would be a bit of a different project for me, but something that I'd really like to work on. So that is on my list. Okay, number six is um, a big four pattern, or do they say big five now? And it's a no me pattern. It's ME2089. And I just think this is gorgeous. It's a trench style cropped jacket with a front button closure. It has collar, optional shoulder tabs, wide belt with grommets, prong buckle and belt carriers at the waist. And view A has sleeve tabs with buckles and view B has a rain shield. So it's like a trench coat, but you could make it out of a light denim. And I think it would look absolutely beautiful. It's very cropped. So for you guys that don't like that and you want your bum covered, this ain't the one for you. But I loved the look of this. I think it was because it's got this beautiful um, lapel and then it's got kind of, um, what do you call those on here? Does it say on there what they're called? Sleeve tabs, they've just said, with buckles. Um, but I love the shoulder tabs here. I think that looks really, really good. Makes it, again, look quite military. And then you've got on the long sleeves on some of them, like the same thing, like a belt around the sleeves to cinch in around here. And then you've got the belt that goes in around the waist. And I just think all of those together, I'd be like, I'm going maximum. I'm going all out. I'm having the whole lot. <laughs> Because I just think it looks really, really nice. You probably could extend it, but... And then on this one, it's got a yoke on the back. And then it's also... It's double-breasted, so you've got four buttons. But then it says you've got an option of having a, um, a rain shield. Now, I don't get this. Someone's going to tell me about this. I know. You guys are always awesome. And I'm like, I don't get this. What does that mean? You always let me know. But it says on here that View B has got a rain shield. And I've always never understood with this kind of jacket the trench style jacket what that flap is I remember buying a trench jacket once online and it turning up and I was like oh I think it's broken because there's only one flap on one side it's not, it's not on the other side I know I know I must have been a lot younger then but I still don't know what it's for why is there only one of these rain shields on one side Somebody tell me. You, you're all going to know. I know you are. Now, the design of this one is Brittany J. Jones. So the Nomi patterns are where Mimi G has got loads of different designers to bring their patterns to life through the big five. Um, they're saying that you can use broadcloth, cotton blends, denim, gabardine, linen blends, micro suede, stretch wovens, twill, wool blends. So this is really adaptable. You can kind of make it in pretty much any woven fabric I would say. Um, it's on PDF and paper pattern as well and there's also a YouTube tutorial. Yay! And there's two size brackets to this one. There's a 10 to 18 and an 18 to 26. 
bust of 32 and a half to 48, a waist of 22 to 41 and a half and hips of 31 and a half to 50. And I think it's a right cutie. Last but not least, last but very not least, is a free pattern. So I thought I always like to try and add a pattern in that's free every now and again as well. If, you know, money coming up to Christmas, etc. I know I just said the word. I know it's only September. I know. I appreciate that. But if you're really planned and organised like me, who's already started doing their Christmas shopping, then you might be thinking, oh, I haven't got time or the money or resource to be buying a pattern right now. So there's a free one if you fancy it. And this is a bit of a cool one, actually. And it's called the Annie Jacket by Mood Society. I've talked a lot before about Mood Society on my channel. All their patterns are free. They're awesome. Um, and this pattern reminds me of watching the film Grease. <laughs> I don't know whether it's the line drawings of it or what it is. But I just love it. And it's got like a little bit of a Western look. So it says, now that it's getting colder, why not go bolder with the Annie jacket? It brings some of those subtle Western vibes that we've been seeing recently and is a perfect transitional piece to start adding to your closet this season. It's PDF only because it is only, um, it's a freebie um, and it's online. Now, some people have trouble downloading um, the PDFs of Mood Society. My lovely friend Sam from Frugalissima has done a vlog on how to download um, patterns off Mood Society. So if you head on over to her channel, you can go and have a look at that if you do struggle with it, because I know some people do. Um, it's denim, twill, corduroy is the kind of fabrics that they are recommending um what i love about this is i mean you don't have to wear the collar up like they've got going on but i love the fact that the yoke goes across the front and then it goes across the sleeves as well it's kind of got that little bit of cowboy cowgirl vibe and i love it the pockets are the same they've kind of got that little cowboy look on the front it's got a cinched in waist the cuffs you can kind of pull back they're almost like a tulip cuff which is very similar to the denim jacket i've just made so you can wear them down or you can pull them up and they've got like a little slit in them like a tulip um yeah and it's got buttons down the front and then a really nice little waist seam but i think it's definitely the yoke that goes all the way across the front the sleeves and then at the back and it cinches into that traditional cowgirl cowboy v shape that i think would be very on trend right now because we're seeing a lot of cowboy cowgirl themed stuff aren't we out there so i think that would look really really cute in that kind of fabric and on the images that i'll be popping in you'll see that they have gone really bold they have gone a little bit crazy in the fact that they have um chosen two different fabrics to make this jacket and it just looks awesome so these um go from sizes 00 to 32 bust of 31 to 59 and a half waist of 23 to 51 and a half and hips of 34 to 63 and a half so very size inclusive as well that's the good thing about new societies they have a really good size range as well so what do we think to my pattern picks i ended up using the midway jacket by leperline I'll pop a picture of it here for you. Again, I will talk in more detail about it. I talked about it in my plans video a while ago, if you do want to go check that out. And I will be discussing it in a makes video, hopefully in the next few weeks. I'm very happy with the one that I made. But yeah, this was all the kind of research that I've been doing to make sure that I picked the right pattern. Um, closet court sienna jacket is definitely going to be on my list, though. Let me know if you've made any of the ones that I'm suggesting in this video. Let me know which ones are your favourite out of this and which one you think I should make next. Just before I go, so that I don't forget, I am wearing a Donny shirt today. I always forget this and then people are like, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? I am wearing a Donny shirt by Friday Pattern Company in this beautiful viscose slub um, from First of Fabrics. Um, if they've got any more of this left, I will pop a link in the description box below because they had loads of colours of it and it was only, I'm sure, about £5 a metre and it is so soft and beautiful and it made such a lovely Donny shirt and I love wearing it. I wear it all the time. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you ever so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will hopefully see you again very soon in my next video. Take care. Bye.